everyone. I am so excited uh, to be here today. I know some of you and a lot of you know me. I miss Natalie and a lot of the elementary and some of the middle school students know me. Um, and so excited. You know, I've been speaking to a lot of the directors and teachers and everyone really, really misses you all. Um, and the exciting part is that you're going to see some of your teachers and some of the directors uh, moving forward because we're going to go live and we're going to do read alouds and we're going to present activities. So it's really exciting. I wanted to share a really amazing book with you. It's one of my favorites and it's called Stand Tall, Molly Lou Mellon. And it's written by Patty Lavelle and illustrated by David Catrow. This has been one of my favorite, favorite books. And every time I go into the classroom, I always have this book in my back pocket. And so today I'm going to read it to you. Stand Tall, Molly Lou Mellon. Molly Lou Mellon stood rather taller than her dog and was the shortest girl in the first grade. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, walk as proudly as you can and the world will look up to you. Do you see her there? Not too tall. So, she did. Molly Lou Mellon had buck teeth that stuck out so far she could stack pennies on them. She didn't mind. Her grandmother had told her, smile big and the world will smile right alongside you. See her looking in the mirror there? So she did. Molly Lou Mellon had a voice that sounded like a bullfrog being squeezed by a boa constructor. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, sing out clear and strong and the world will cry tears of joy. So she did. Look at her there, singing. Who's she singing? Oh, in front of the turtles and all these insects. Molly Lou Mellon was often fumble-fingered. She didn't mind. Her grandmother had told her, believe in yourself and the world will believe in you too. Look at that. Maybe she was washing the dishes and they were falling and breaking. So she did. Then, Molly Lou Mellon moved to a new town. She had to say goodbye to her grandma and all of her friends. I know a lot of us have experienced this, right? Moving to a new school, now that we're not in school, right? We're at home, so we feel that, that piece of saying goodbye to our friends and our teachers. And start in a new school. There she is. On the first day of school, Ronald Durkin called her shrimp in gym class. When the game started, Molly Lou Bellin caught the football, ran under the legs of Ronald Durkin, and scored a shutdown. Excuse me, a touchdown. 
all the children thought, wow, she's good. And Ronald Durkin felt very, very foolish. Look at Molly Lou Mellon there with her football running. On the second day of school, Ronald Durkin called her Bucky Tooth Fever. Molly Lou Mellon took out her pennies, stacked 10 high on her teeth, and smiled as big as day. All the children smiled with glee, and Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. You see him there? Couldn't believe it. On the third day of school, Ronald Durkin said, You sound like a sick duck. Honk, honk. Molly Lou Mellon sang out a quack so clear and strong that it made Ronald Durkin somersault backwards, hit his head, and have to go to the nurse. All the children cried with joy to be free of Ronald Durkin for the rest of the afternoon. And Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. Look at him there. On the fourth day of school, Ronald Durkin said that she made the snowflake all wrong. Look at that beautiful snowflake. But Molly Lou Mellon opened up her paper and revealed the most beautiful snowflake of all. All the children oohed and awed, even Ronald. See Ronald there? He doesn't have that face of ooing and awing, but he realized how beautiful it was. On the fifth day of school, Ronald Durkin brought Molly Mellon a stacking penny for her tooth and smiled at her. Looks like he's coming around. That night, Molly Lou Mellon took out a pencil and paper and wrote a letter to her grandma. Dear Grandma, I wanted to tell you that everything you told me was exactly right. Love, Molly Lou Mellon. And look at Grandma there reading the letter from Molly. The end. Love, love, love this book. Today, I want you to think about what's one thing you're standing tall and that you're really proud and love about yourself? Is it your smile? Is it how great you sing? Is it that you've been really helpful with mom or dad at home uh, these, this last week? What is it that you're standing tall like Molly Lou Mellon and really love about yourself and really proud about? And today I wanna remind you to walk as proudly as you can. Yep, even around your home, in the apartment, in your room, right? Walk as proudly as you can and the world will look up to you. I hope you enjoy this book. Make sure you comment below if you loved it. And it's exciting because you're not only going to see me here, but you're going to see a lot of other teachers and directors. So I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous day. Okay, bye.